गुड मॉर्निंग माय नेम इज एम नरसिंह राव लेक्चर इन फिजिक्स टुडे आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग न्यूमारिकल रिगार्डिंग द चैप्टर फोर्स एंड लॉस ऑफ मोशन क्लास नाइन प्रॉब्लम नंबर थर्टीन इन एनसीआरटी टेक्स्ट बुक ये हॉकी बॉल ऑफ मास 200 हंड्रेड ग्राम ट्रेवलिंग एट 10 मीटर पर सेकेंड इज स्ट्रक बाई अ हॉकी स्टिक सो एज टू रिटर्न इट अलॉन्ग इट्स ओरिजिनल पाथ विथ ए वेलासिटी ऑफ फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड कैलकुलेट द चेंज इन मोमेंट अकर इन द मोशन ऑफ हॉकी बॉल बाय द फोर्स अप्लाइड बाय द हॉकी स्टिक नाउ इन दिस प्रॉब्लम देर इज ए हॉकी बॉल इट्स मास इज गिवेन एज अ टू हंड्रेड ग्राम इट इज मूविंग विथ ए वेलासिटी ऑफ टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड After traveling some distance, hockey player is hitting the ball. After hitting, it moves with a velocity of five meter per second. They are asking what is the change in momentum? Momentum means mass into velocity. Initial velocity ten, final velocity five. There is a change in velocity. Change in velocity means there is a change in momentum that we have to find. Now please listen. Mass of the hockey ball two hundred grams. Mass of the mass of hockey ball. Mass of a hockey ball. Small m is equals to two hundred grams. Now grams should be converted into kilograms. You know very well, thousand grams is equals to one kilogram. Thousand grams is equals to one kilogram. Now, the one thousand grams is equals to one kilogram. Now, this can be written as thousand into one gram is equals to one kg. Thousand comes to denominator. One gram is equals to One kg by thousand. Now we have to convert these grams into kilograms. You have to multiply with one by thousand. Otherwise, two hundred. I am writing two hundred gram. Gram means one by thousand kg. Gram means one by thousand kg. Gram means one by thousand. kg last two zeros last two zeros nothing but 2 by 10 2 by 10 nothing but 2 by 10 means 0.2 kg mass of the hockey ball is 0.2 kg now initially the ball is moving right side its velocity i am taking as a positive afterwards it is returned back the ball is returned back the ball is moving left side its velocity i am taking as negative so initially ball is moving right side velocity i am taking as positive after by after hitting by the hockey stick ball is moving left side ball is moving left side velocity is on left side velocity i am taking as a negative right side velocity i am taking positive left side velocity i am taking negative the reason is velocity is a vector quantity vector means it must have the direction it must have the direction now please listen initial velocity Initial velocity. Initial velocity. It is represented by u. Initial velocity is given as a ten meter per second. Now it is positive. The reason is the ball is moving right side. Right side velocity I am taking. 
being positive. Left side velocity, I am taking a negative. Initial velocity is 10 meter per second. Final velocity. Final velocity. V is equal to after. Now, the, now, now after, you know, we are hitting by the hockey stick. The ball is moving left side. Ball is moving left side. Left side velocity, I am taking as a negative. Where final velocity minus 5 meter per second square here I am, I am writing it is moving right side right side for that reason I have taken positive it then after hitting it is moving left side I am taking a negative negative right now what they are asking change in momentum first I will find the initial momentum afterwards I will find the final momentum here I am writing initial momentum initial momentum here I am writing initial momentum now please listen here initial momentum initial momentum initial momentum Momentum, initial momentum. Momentum is represented by the letter P. Momentum is represented by the letter P. Initial momentum I am writing as a P suffix I. Momentum means what? Mass into velocity. Initial momentum. In a mass into initial velocity. Mass into initial velocity. Mass. Mass of the ball, mass of the ball, 0 0.2 kg, 0 0.2 kg into initial velocity, initial velocity 10, 0 0.2 into 10, 0 0.2 into 10, this can be written as, I am eliminating the point 2, after the point 1 digit, I am writing 10 in the denominator into 10 10 10 gets cancelled 2 kg meter per second it is the initial momentum now final momentum final momentum final momentum momentum means p final momentum pf mass into final velocity Mass into final velocity. Mass of the ball. Mass of the ball. 0 0.2 kg. Final velocity. Final velocity. Minus 5 meter per second. 0 0.2 into 5. 0 0.2 into 5. Now here. Please listen here. Now 2 by 10. 0 0.2 can be written as 2 by 10. Into 5. Minus, I am writing minus 5, 1, yeah, 5, 2, yeah. 2, 2 gets cancelled. That is equals to final momentum is equals to minus, minus 1 kg meter per second. They are asking, they are asking change in momentum. Therefore, they are asking change in momentum. Change in momentum. Change in momentum means final momentum minus initial momentum. Change in momentum means final momentum minus initial momentum. Change in momentum means final momentum minus initial momentum. Momentum is a vector quantity. Change in momentum means final momentum minus initial momentum. Now, final momentum, final momentum is a minus 1, final momentum, minus 1, minus, initial momentum, initial momentum, initial momentum is a 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 3, momentum is a unit, kg meter per second, it is the change in momentum. Now, if you need only magnitude, if you need only magnitude, change in momentum means, change in momentum means, 
minus indicates the direction only if you need only magnitude means change in momentum is equals to 3 kg meter per second problem number 14 a bullet of mass 10 grams traveling horizontally with a velocity of 150 meter per second strikes a stationary wooden block and comes to rest in 0.03 second calculate the distance of penetration of the bullet into the block also calculate the magnitude of the force exerted by the wooden block on the bullet in this problem now there is a gun we fire the gun bullet is moving initially bullet is having velocity initial velocity of the bullet is 150 meter per second the bullet strikes the wooden block it is the wooden block this bullet strikes the wooden block bullet is going inside the bullet is penetrating inside the bullet is penetrating inside after penetrating some distance the bullet is stopped stopped means what finally it comes to rest it is coming to rest means the final velocity becomes zero initially bullet is moving with a velocity of 150 meter per second now the bullet strikes the wooden block it penetrates it penetrates and it travels some distance inside the wooden block finally it comes to rest what is this distance of penetration inside the wooden block they are asking finally bullet is coming to rest rest means no velocity final velocity becomes zero now a bullet of mass 10 grams it is the bullet its mass is 10 grams given data given a data given a data mass of the bullet mass of the bullet mass of the bullet small m mass of the bullet is given as a 10 grams 10 grams now 10 while you are converting grams into kilograms divide the given number with a thousand you know very well one gram is equals to 1 by 1000 kg now please listen 10 1 gram gram means 1 by 1000 kg gram means 1 by 1000 kg now please listen here last zero last zero cancel 1 into 1 1 by 100 1 by 100 kg 1 by 100 means 0 0.01 kg this is the mass of the bullet it is the mass of the bullet bullet is moving with a velocity of 150 meter per second initially bullet is having velocity initial velocity of the bullet 150 meter per second initial velocity of the bullet initial velocity Initial velocity of bullet. In initial velocity means u. That is given as 150 meter per second. Now, bullet is penetrated into the wooden black. Finally, it is stopped. Stopped means the final velocity becomes zero. Final velocity of the bullet. Final velocity of bullet v is equals to zero the reason is finally bullet is stopped it is coming to rest final velocity becomes zero now you know it has traveled some distance it has penetrated some distance to travel this distance it has taken 0 0.03 second time taken time taken t is equals to 0 0.03 Second, now, the bullet penetrated into the wooden block. It has traveled some distance. This distance I am taking as S. Distance of penetration. 
distance of penetration now distance of penetration yes it has a travel some distance inside the wooden block the distance i am taking as yes this we have to find now please listen here all the members u v t initially bullet is moving finally it comes to rest there is a change in velocity starting bullet is moving finally it comes to rest there is a change in velocity with the time we are calling as a acceleration acceleration of the bullet is equals to acceleration of the bullet is equals to a is equals to v minus u by t a is equals to v means final velocity final velocity is zero bullet came to rest v means zero u means initial velocity initial velocity 150 by t means time time means 0 0.03 seconds now no value for 0. I am not writing minus 150. By I am eliminating the decimal point. I am eliminating the decimal point. That means 3. After the decimal point 2 digits. I am writing 2 zeros in the numerator. Any problem for you? Ramo, any doubt? Any doubt is there? Please ask me. Now please listen. 3 1 ja, 3. 3 5 ja. 0, 0, 0. Acceleration A is equals to minus 5000 meter per second square. Now you may ask one question, sir, why you got minus symbol? As the bullet is going inside the wooden block, velocity goes on decreasing. Velocity goes on decreasing means acceleration is a negative. Acceleration is a negative. Distance of penetration. Nothing but distance traveled. S is equals to ut plus half eat square. It is the formula for distance traveled. We don't know the distance of traveled. We don't know this distance. We have to find it now. S is equals to. U means initial velocity. Initially, the bullet is moving with a velocity of 150 meter per second. Initial velocity 150. Initial velocity u is equal to 150. u means 150 into t means time. Time is 0 0.03. 0 0.03 plus half. Axilla, a means acceleration. Acceleration means minus 5000. Acceleration means minus 5000. T, T means time. Time is 0 0.03. Time means 0 0.03 square square. S is equals to. Now please listen here. 150. I am eliminating this decimal point. After the eliminating the point 3. After the point 2 digits are there. I am writing 100 in the denominator. Plus into minus, minus, plus into minus, minus, 5,000 by 2, 5,000 by 2, 2,500. Now, 0 0.03 whole square, nothing but 0 0.03 into 0 0.03. Now, please listen here. Yes is equal. Now, now last 0, last 0 cancel. 15 into 3, 15 into 3, 45. 15 into 3, 45 by 10 minus, minus. Now, 2500. Here, here I am eliminating this decimal point. And I am eliminating the point means 3. <coughs> After the decimal point, 2 digits. I am writing 100 in the denominator. <coughs> 0 0.03, 0 0.03. Last two zeros, last two zeros cancel. S is equal to 45 by 10, 4.5 minus <coughs> 25 into 3, 75 into 0 0.03. That is equal to 4.5 minus 75 into 0 0.03, 2.25. 
yes is equals to 4.5 minus 2.25 nothing but 2.25 yes it means distance travel the distance travel the unit is a meter now distance of penetration is a 2.25 meter then what they are asking magnitude of the force exerted by the wooden block now please listen this bullet applies some force on the wooden block that is action wooden block also applies some reaction force on the bullet action is equal to minus reaction bullet is applying the force right side Black is applying the force left side. For every reaction, there will be equal and opposite reaction. Now they are asking about the force. Force. Now what magnitude of the force exerted by the wooden black? Magnitude of the force exerted by wooden black. Force formula. F is equals to M A. M means a mass. Mass of the mass of the bullet. Mass of the bullet zero point zero one. Mass of the bullet zero point zero one. Acceleration. Acceleration minus five thousand. Acceleration minus five thousand. Point cancel one by after the decimal point two digits. I am writing a hundred in the denominator. Five thousand. Minus I am writing minus last two zeros last two zeros. 1 into 50 minus 15 newton they are now here minus indicates what as the bullet is moving inside this wooden block is opposing this opposing force for that reason we got minus symbol but in the problem they are asking only magnitude no need of direction you take positive symbol and magnitude means you take only value not the direction magnitude of force Magnitude of force. Only you take magnitude. 15 Newton. Problem number 15. An object of mass 1 kg. Travelling in a straight line. With a velocity of 10 meter per second. Collides with. And sticks to a. Stationary wooden block. Of mass 5 kg. Then they both move off together in the same straight line calculate the total moment just before the impact and just after the impact also calculate the velocity of the combined object now in this problem they told very clearly in this problem they told very clearly here there is an object here there is an object. Its mass is given as 1 kg. It is the first body. Its mass I am taking as 1 kg. It is moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second. It is moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second. There is an object. Its mass is 1 kg. It is moving with an initial velocity 10 meter per second. And this body strikes the wooden block. This body strikes the wooden block. This is the wooden block. This is the wooden block. Wooden block is initially at rest. Initially rest means initial velocity is equal to zero. The wooden block is in rest position. Rest position means initial velocity zero. Mass of the wooden block 5 kg. It is the second object. Its mass is M2. That is equals to 5 kg. Now, according to the given problem, there is one object. Its mass is 1 kg. Moving along a straight line. With an initial velocity U1. With an initial velocity. With an initial velocity U1 is equals to 10 meter per second. It strikes the wooden block. Wooden block is in rest position. Rest position means initial velocity 0. Its mass is 5 kg. Yes. After striking the wooden block, both stick together. After striking the wooden block, both stick, stick together. Stick together. This spear and this wooden block, both stick 
together both stick together uh, both stick together now this is the first object it is the second object both are combinedly moving both are combinedly they stick together both are having same velocity that we are calling as common velocity that is uh, represented by v after the collision velocity of the first ball is v1 velocity of the second ball v2 that is equal to v both are having same velocity they stick together it is the ball it is the wooden block they stick together they are moving combinedly both are having same velocity final velocity of the first body is v final velocity of the second body is v both are having the same velocity that we are calling as combined velocity it is the situation after accident after collision now please listen mass of the first body 1 kg its initial velocity 10 meter per second mass of the wooden block 5 kg initially it is a rest rest means initial velocity zero now when this ball strikes the wooden block after collision they stick together both are moving combinedly both are having same velocity what is the combined velocity what is the common velocity they are asking now please listen what they are asking now please listen here now what they are asking then they move together in the same way. calculate the total momentum just before the impact total momentum means momentum of the first body plus momentum of the second body total momentum total momentum total momentum before accident before impact before accident total momentum means momentum of the first body plus momentum of the second body momentum means mass into velocity momentum mass into velocity momentum mass into velocity m1 into u1 m1 u1 total means plus momentum of the second body momentum means mass into velocity m2 into u2 now please m1 mass of the first body mass of the first body mass of the first body 1 kg u1 initial velocity of the first body 10 initial velocity of the first body 10 plus mass of the second body second body means wooden block mass of the second body 5 kg now this wooden block initially rest initial velocity is zero rest means not moving e velocity equal to zero one into ten ten zero into anything zero ten plus zero ten this is the total momentum before accident momentum unit is kg meter per second it is the total momentum before impact now they are asking total momentum after impact calculate the velocity of the combined object you know very well according to the law of conservation of linear momentum total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision according to according to the law of conservation of linear momentum according to law of conservation of linear momentum according to according to law of conservation of law of conservation of momentum according to law of conservation of momentum we are having one formula total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum before collision before impact before collision is equal to total momentum total momentum after collision now we are having one formula in this chapter only total momentum before collision m1 u1 plus m2 u2 
is equals to total momentum after collision m1 v1 plus m2 v2 yes am i correct or not m1 u1 plus m2 u2 m1 u1 plus m2 u2 we got it 10 m1 u1 plus m2 u2 totally we got it 10 m1 u1 plus m2 u2 you got 10 m1 mass of the first body mass of the first body 1 kg V1, final velocity of the first body. For now, after the impact, both are having same velocity. V1 means V. V1 means V. M2, mass of the second body. Mass of the second body, 5 kg. Velocity of the second body. After impact, final velocity is V. 1 into V, V. V plus 5 V. V plus 5 V. 1 into V, V. 5 into V, 5 V. 10 is equal to V plus 5 is V plus 5 is 6 V. 6 comes to denominator. 10 by 6 is equals to V. 5 to 5 to 5 ja, 2 3 ja. Capital V is equals to 5 by 3 meter per second. It is the combined velocity after collision. After accident they stick together. They are moving combinedly. They stick together. Combined velocity is equal to 5 by 3 meter per second. Second, that is total momentum after the impact means M1 V1 plus M2 V2. M1 V1 plus M2 V2. M1 V1. V1 means V. V2 means V. Both are having same velocity. V1 means V. V1 means V. M2. V2. V2 means V. V common, V common, V common means M1, V common means M2. Now please listen here, please listen here. All the members V, 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 V means 5 by 3, V means 5 by 3. M1, mass of the first body, 1 kg. Mass of the second body, mass of the second body, 5 kg. 5 by 3. Into 1 plus 5, 6. 3, 1, ja, 3, 2, ja. 5, 2, ja, 10. That is equals to 10. Momentum unit is kg meter per second. It is the total momentum after the impact. Now, it is the total momentum before the impact. Here 10, here 10. Total momentum before impact is equal to total momentum after impact. Number 16. An object of mass 100 kg is accelerated uniformly from a velocity of 5 meter per second to 8 meter per second in 6 seconds. Calculate the initial and final momentum of the object. Also find the magnitude of the force exerted on the object. Object of mass 100 kg here there is an object. Here there is an object. Now this is an object. Its mass is given as 100 kg. Initially it is moving with an initial velocity of 5 meter per second. There is an object. Starting, it is running slow with an initial velocity 5 meter per second. After some time, its velocity increases to, its velocity increases to 8 meter per second. Starting velocity we are calling as initial velocity. After some time, its velocity increased to 8 meter per second. The after some time, it, this velocity we are calling as a final velocity. Time taken is 6 seconds. From here to here, time taken is given as 6 seconds. Now please listen. Initial velocity. Initial velocity of the object. Initial velocity u is equals to 5 meter per second. After some time, after 6 seconds, its velocity is 8 meter per second. Velocity is a change. It is the starting velocity, initial velocity. It is the final velocity. 
final velocity final velocity of the object final velocity means v 8 meter per second the time taken is 6 seconds time taken t is equal to 6 seconds 6 seconds now mass of the object is given mass of the object is given as a hundred kg what they are asking what is the initial moment what is final moment initial moment initial moment initial moment momentum means p initial momentum means p suffix initial moment mass into initial velocity momentum means mass into velocity initial momentum means mass into initial velocity mass mass 100 kg initial velocity initial velocity 5 meter per second 100 into 5 500 momentum unit is kg meter per second it is the initial moment final moment final moment momentum means p final momentum means p suffix f Mass into final velocity. Mass into final velocity. Mass 100 kg. Final velocity. Final velocity 8 meter per second. 8 into 100. 800 kg meter per second. It is the final moment. They are asking magnitude of the force. According to the Newton's second law. According to according to newton's second law according to newton's second law force is equals to change in momentum by time change in momentum by time rate of change of momentum is equal to external force Force F is equals to, F represents force, change in momentum. Change in momentum means final momentum minus initial momentum, initial momentum by time. Now F is equals to final momentum, final momentum is 800. Minus initial momentum. Initial momentum 500. By time taken. 6 seconds. 800 minus 500. 800 minus 500. 300 by 6. 6 1 ja, 6 5 ja. Nothing but a 50. Force unit is in Newton. They are asking magnitude of the force. Answer. Magnitude of force is equals to magnitude of force is equals to F is equals to 50 Newton. Number 18. How much momentum will a dumbbell of mass 10 kg transfer to the floor if it falls from a height of 80 centimeter? Now please listen. It is the dumbbell. It is at a height of 80 centimeter from the ground. It is the dumbbell. Initially it is in rest. Rest means initial velocity. Zero. Initial velocity. Initial velocity. Initial velocity. U is equal to zero. The reason is the dumbbell is initially it is in rest. Rest means initial velocity zero. Initially, initially at rest. Okay. Now, if the dumbbell is left free, it is falling down. As the dumbbell is coming down, its velocity goes on increasing. Its velocity goes on final. You are when it touches the ground. What is its final velocity? 
final velocity before touching the ground final velocity final velocity means initially it is in rest as it is falling down before touching the ground it is having some velocity that velocity we are calling as final velocity final velocity v is equals to bus question mark we have to find the final velocity now it is now it is at a height of 80 cm it is a traveling a distance of 80 cm this dumbbell is at a height of 80 cm now dumbbell is traveling from top to bottom it is a traveling 80 cm it is traveling 80 cm distance traveled is equals to distance traveled is equals to s is equals to 80 cm now 80 centimeter we have to convert into meter divided by 100 it is converted into meter last zero last zero 8 by 10 0 0.8 meter now this height is nothing but a distance traveled by the dumbbell this distance traveled is 80 centimeter otherwise 0 0.8 meter now please listen now we, now initially it is in rest now you have to find final velocity. It is the distance travel. Now they, they told downward acceleration is a 10 meter per second square. Acceleration. Acceleration. It is falling down. Acceleration A is equals to 10 meter per second square. V U A S V U A S the formula is v square minus u square is equals to 2 a s the formula v square minus u square is equals to 2 a s v we, we don't know you initial velocity it is in rest initially it is in rest rest means initial velocity is zero u means zero square 2 a means acceleration 10 Yes means distance traveled. Distance traveled is nothing but 80 centimeter. Nothing but 0 0.8 meter. You have to take SI unit. SI system. 0 0.8. Yes means 0 0.8. No value for 0. 0 square means 0. I am not writing 0. V square is equals to. Now 2 into 10 into. Eliminating the decimal point. 8. After the decimal point, what is it? You write a 10 in denominator. 10, 10 cancel. 2 into 8 is 16. V square is equal to 16 can be written as a 4 square. Square square cancel. V is equal to 4 meter per second. Final velocity is equal to Final velocity is equal to 4 meter per second. Before touching the ground, before touching the ground here, the velocity is 4 meter per second. Now, now V represents the velocity before touching the ground. V represents the velocity of a dumbbell. Dumbbell before touching the ground. Means here, before touching the floor. Now, momentum transferred. Momentum transferred by dumbbell. Momentum transferred by dumbbell. Momentum transferred. Mass into velocity. Momentum, mass into velocity. Mass. Mass is given as a 10 kg. Mass is given as a 10 kg. Final velocity just before touching the ground 4. 10 into 4, 40. Now momentum unit kg meter per second. Thank you.